What's up, everybody? Ruby Garcia here, and my camera's moving like crazy, but Ruby Garcia here with Fine Fayetteville, and I wanted to go over a market report, June's market report. I've actually been waiting for the June numbers to come out on another website that I get my information from. Still hasn't came out. And we're at the 7th of July. So I said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. And here we are. So let's not waste time. Let's get into it for the ones who love this market report. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my uh, my Hawaiian collar t-shirt today because it's in the middle of summer. So I figured I'd have a little fun with it. But let's, let's check it out. All right. So let me bring this up. Boom. Here we are. Here we are. So we're going to start here. Um, and we'll start here at the top. All right, so always reach out to Mr. Proven by Ruben, EXP Realty. All right, Fayetteville Real Estate. Let's get into it. Here is the most popular listing. Now, this has been the most popular listing for a while. Why? Because it's the most expensive listing. That's why. We want to know more about it. Obviously, we want to look in there. Why is it almost 1.4? Um, I've actually reached out to the listing agent and they have not reached back out to me. Uh, I was like, yo, I would love to do a, a, uh, a tour of the house. It's getting a lot of looks. So let's show the people what they want to see. Have not heard back from her. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. All right so anyway, so there that is. Here's the least expensive. We have it at Tulip Drive for $1. Guys, that's not real that's not real that is somebody who put it in wrong um it's probably a rental uh anyways i thought that was kind of that was kind of funny so i want to show you so let's get into the meat let's get into the real good stuff all right fayetteville listing summary obviously the inventory is going to tell us a lot about the market so let's look at it we have a total of 1319 listings currently which is I believe around 14 more listings uh, than it was the month prior, so May. Um, so we, we are bringing on more listings. Uh, no, wait, 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 no, it might be even down. I think right here, yeah, 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 I was looking at the new, not the total, I apologize. The new, we are up 14 listings. So we have new 73 um, now, and it was, you know, whatever it was, 73 minus 14, all right? <laughs> That's what it was back in May. So in June, we're looking at new 73 listings, which is pretty cool. Now the reduced, we have 23 less reduced priced homes. What does that tell us? What does that tell you, right? When you see that, that we have 23 less reduced priced homes. What it is, is that people are pricing them, pricing them correctly and they're selling. Um, obviously, if we have more inventory hitting the market, then we have more buyers looking to absorb that inventory. And I'm going to go over some of that information as well. But that's why you're seeing that. It's exactly why you're seeing that. So we actually have less being reduced. We also have one less open house this time, uh, this time versus uh, this time last month. We got one less. And in foreclosures, we have two less. So as you see, this market's just starting to be absorbed a little bit. Um, prices are being priced the right way and buyers are picking them up. Same short sales, nothing has changed. Listen, short sales aren't short. They take a while, all right? They're not short. I don't know why they name them short sales, but let's get into it. That is the same number. All right, so let's look at the town versus county, Fayetteville versus Cumberland County. Let's look at that. So we got the average price in Fayetteville, a little over three, uh, $300,000. And the county's a little over $300,000. Now, this number has actually went up. So we are getting closer to the average of the county, Fayetteville is. Um, this number has went up. Again, if you're going to price your things right, you may even have or price your thing. If you price your homes or your properties right, then you're going to have buyers who come in and maybe even multiple buyers on the same price or same uh, property that's going to raise the price. Uh, through multiple offer situations, and that could be possibly what we're looking at right there. All right, we got the average square foot in Fayetteville versus the county at 99%. This number has actually came down. So again, it could be where we're just pricing these things the right way, and people are pulling them and absorbing them as buyers. But we have come down on the average uh, where we were just a month ago. Looking at the average price per square foot, 
um, in Fayetteville. Oh, this was average square feet. I think I said price. I apologize. Average square feet. Um, yeah, I think I did. So anyways, average square feet right here. We are looking at uh, it, it is it has come down. The average price per square feet has went up, has went up versus the county. So again, our inventory, I mean, if we're seeing anything right now in these numbers, our inventory is getting absorbed and we may even be seeing more multiple offers coming back into the, into the market. So if you're looking to sell, this is probably a really good time to sell. Um, buyers are picking them up. And again, it looks like we're, we're getting a few multiple offers, which is uh, always nice for the sellers, right? For the buyers, uh, just got to come a little bit more competitive is all. And we can walk you through that process as well. So we're now we're looking at the average walk score. So, you know, I don't know how you look at this or not, but we have come down <laughs> from a month ago. So, yeah, I don't think that's too big of a deal. Average year built in Fayetteville, uh, we are flat. So same, basically the same amount, 1986 to 1991. Basically the same. It's a flat. It's, it's what it was a month ago. And if we look at the last one, we've actually come down on average days on a website, uh, Fayetteville to County. So again, what does that tell you? If, if the average day online is going down before it's sold. In my mind, we're pricing it right. We're doing a really good job of bringing in, you know, there's I think there's around 30,000 so far year to date agents who have left the market. 30,000 because we had a big explosion, right? In 2020, where a bunch of agents entered the market because it was quote unquote easier to sell to be a real estate agent. Well, times are tough. So uh, we've had a lot of agents exit the market. And so you're seeing more of that veteran agent stay in the market, live in the market, and pricing these things right the right way, marketing them the right way, um, uh, consulting their clients the right way for, for these homes to get sold and for buyers to actually pick up these. And, and all the numbers are reflecting that. You tell me what you think. You go back here. So something else, and this is just a quick little graph. Now, obviously this is shooting down July because we're only in day seven. So this don't look at this. We're really only looking at this right here. And it's just a graph of said numbers that we went over. Um, I did want to show you this. Give me one second. I'm going to uh, remove this and I'm going to share. Oops. I'm going to share something else. So I have been waiting for these numbers to be corrected and they haven't. So I'll give you this. If you want to take a look at it, I'm going to share this screen with you. Give me one second so I can see what's going on. Fix this. Oh, I wonder if I can make this. Uh, let's make this full screen just so you guys can see it better. Can I close this? Doesn't look like I can. Anyways, um, let's see if we can go a little bit bigger. All right. So now the the thing is, I haven't been able to see it's May, right? I've been waiting on June and it's the 7th and I still haven't got these numbers in. But if you want to look at uh, year over year numbers right here, new listings down, of course, um, inventory is getting eaten up, pending sales down. If you don't have the inventory to sell, then of course, pending sales are going to go down. Same with clothes, right? And as you can see, they're all around the same number, really all tied to getting more listings. And honestly, guys, if you're looking to list your home, we just talked, I just talked with the seller and honestly talked to him about renting out his property because rental prices are going up. It could be his first investment property is in his high twenties, 20 years old, like 27. I'm like, what a great start. He gave it a few weeks of, of, of thought with his wife and now he's going to sell it. Great time to sell still, right? Because you saw those numbers going up and it's because the, again, I think that a lot of the veteran agents <clears throat> like us and our team are sticking in the market and doing a really good job um, going back. So uh, we are, uh, the inventory is still down, but we're selling homes. Days on market until sell. You got it. Let's see, going just a little, wow, just a little bit. Two days, that's nothing. That's nothing. It's basically the same. So that's that's great. But as you're seeing sellers who are selling, obviously with inventory going down and the right agents in your corner, the prices of these properties are going up because of demand. And you're seeing this right here. Uh, these are year over year numbers, so not month over or month to date numbers or month over month for the prior month. So you may see uh, this price may look a little different because members in the 300s. But this is year over year, so it's just looking at it a little bit different. Average sales price, again, percent of list price received, a little over 100%. So 
you know, crazy multiple offers back in the day. Actually, this was when it started to slow down um, and it's still slowing down. So we're still getting to that uh, market. Um, and then here's year to date. So year over year, year to date numbers looking at all this, man. And again, this is May. So I just want to go over this. This is new construction. These are townhomes. If you're interested, uh, if you'd like for us to take a quick, I want to go deeper into this stuff, but I also don't want to keep you here too long. Um, but as you can see, the numbers are still looking the same year to date. They look very reflective of almost the same exact things, almost the same numbers year to date versus year over year. Same here too. Wow. Look at this percent list price received. Oh, because it's new construction. Duh. So they, they fix their price and it is what it is. It's you're more than likely not going to be able to negotiate on price. Um, year to date, 129, uh, which is interesting. That's cool. And then, uh, da, 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 we're looking at again, may down on, uh, new constructions being built, uh, up on pending sales. So this inventory is getting crazy eaten right now. Um, I actually have a video coming out with Ben Stout construction where, oh, you're not, you can't even see it. it's been recording me the whole time. Oopsie. Sorry. Hold on. It should give me a second. I apologize. How long is that? I bet in the comments you are tearing me up right now. So anyways, here is the, um, that's what happens when you can only look at one screen. This is what I went over real quick. So all of this, if you just want to take a snapshot, um, wow, that's interesting. I apologize guys. I apologize, but yeah, there it is. Um, I do have a, uh, uh, I'll bring it back. I do have a new construction video, Ben Stout. He's coming, or I'm doing a fine Fayetteville video on him. So you can check out a little bit about what they're doing. And I think they're crushing it. So I apologize again, guys. Oops. Going back here and here's town homes and condo. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All right. Well, I think this is a quick little report, obviously for you all. And, um, Apologize for that little bit where you were just staring at my mug while I probably looked like this the whole time. Either way, those are the numbers and I want to give you that information. I waited till the 7th to wait till I can get some June information from our MLS. Things still haven't changed. So um, I, I want to give it to you ASAP. If you have any questions about real estate all over the nation, not just Fayetteville, our team is literally all over the nation and honestly across that big ocean. We are worldwide. So if you do have questions about real estate, please let me know. Let the team know. We will get started on answering any questions you have and helping you thus forward. If you haven't already, please get out there and find Fayetteville. I promise it's a great place. Thanks so much.